What's up guys, my name is JD Cook 5 and welcome back to another player review. Today we have the 87 rated Team of the Week card, Marcus Turam. So we're going to run you through these stats, show you some clips and then talk about him afterwards. So we've got 90 pace, 88 shots, 82 pass, 87 dribbling with an 85 physical. He has a medium medium work rate with a 3 star 3 star and has the alternative position of a left mid or centre forward. Looking at the detail stats, he has very high amounts of pace, shooting, dribbling, and to be honest, across the ball, apart from his defending, he's got very high stats. So a very good base card, just looking from what we have here. Um, definitely a card that's predominantly on the pace and shooting side, but all round very good. So we're going to show you these clips, and then we're going to talk about him afterwards. I'm a mess, wanna guess how I gonna lose trust. After showing you the clips, we're going to talk about a few things I did and didn't like about this card. So the pros that I found were dribbling, shooting, pace, physical, heading and stamina. For a card that only cost about 24,000 coins on the market right now, there was a lot of things to talk about that were positive about this card. The dribbling and shooting aspects to this card work very well to be honest. A card that can score and get past players at the same time. The 90 pace definitely felt like he had more to him or as soon as he got onto the ball he was able to get past players with ease. The physical size to his game was very good being able to push defenders off the ball and being able to always have that kind of advantage when on the ball. The heading was definitely one of his better attributes out of the lot, something that would really excel when being able to play a header off or even trying to attempt to score a goal. The stamina also at the end of the game was still at a decent amount of um, green, which was always nice so I didn't have to worry about making a substitution and know he would last a good amount of the game. The cons that I found were passing, skill moves and weak foot. There's not really a match to talk about in terms of ha the bad sides to this card in my opinion. The passing was a little bit sloppy at times and I would find that it would kind of not be as accurate compared to what I would like it to be. But it, it was it was okay but it could be improved for sure. And the only things that I felt that really let this card down were the skill moves and the weak foot. Having having a three star three star didn't really work for me at times, especially when I wanted to use skills or at times where he would get pushed onto his other foot. But for a card that you'll be paying about twenty odd thousand coins on the market, I, I can't really complain in all honesty. I've used cards that are higher value and are much worse compared to this card. This card did shock me. It has got decent links also and it would be able to fit in a lot of people's teams, especially Especially if you haven't got the coins and don't want to spend a lot on a striker. I put a finisher on him just to be able to upgrade the shooting stats only due to because he has high pace already and I wanted to kind of enhance that side of his game. So I hope you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe for more content just like you've seen now and don't forget to hit the notification button for when I do release another video. Cheers.